Hi, this is USD JPY and today it's Sunday 30th of April 2014 and we are looking at the pair before the markets open for the new trading week. This is the daily time frame. I'm using uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hio, Bollinger Bands, uh, Fractals and Stochastics. Um, uh, we see on the daily time frame that we had this downward move for days and now the pair is on the lower Bollinger Band it is it has made this candlestick formation of double bottom higher close and at the same time the stochastics uh, being in the overbought uh, oversold zone sorry below the 20 level line they are slightly curved upwards but they have not crossed the 20 level line yet so it is uh, we should wait before we enter long before we buy for a nice upward uh, move uh, but let's go to the smaller time frames and see if we actually get an entry signal on the H4 time frame, we see that all those stochastics go upwards and they show that the pair wants to go up and reverse after this big fall. Um, we don't have a bullish price 10 can send cross. Let me magnify the chart. A price 10 can send cross will happen. Let me insert the shape when we have one candlestick one bullish candlestick crossing and closing above ten consen followed by a bullish candlestick okay we don't have this happening yet when it happens then we can enter long if we are not co uh, convinced when we see the, the bullish uh, price and can send cross happening on the H4 time frame. We can go to the H1 time frame. Let me delete this. I will zoom out again. So if we go to the H1 time frame, uh, what we want to see here in order to enter long to buy is a strong bullish Kumo breakout. A strong bullish Kumo breakout which means the price must be above the Kumo but this is not enough we need to see the, the green line of Ichimoku Chiku span going above past price action it is above past price action but also above the Kumo so if the Chiku span is up here or up here and price is up here then yes we can enter long we can buy and this is going to be a very nice and profitable trade you can place your stop loss below the the, the fractals 20 or 30 pips below the, the fractals uh, I like to, to put it 150 pips below my entry my long entry but um, since we we are after this big uh, fall um, you can be conservative with your stop loss um, if uh, a strong bullish Kumo breakout happens on H1 odds are that the pair will reverse and go upwards otherwise uh, you don't want to be trapped in a continuation of a fall because it may be a very big fall and you don't want big losses okay so place your stop a few pips below the fractals here and theoretically you will be um, okay in case price reverses and goes uh, really up thanks for watching and happy pips